When looking at the history of the National Football League, it is impossible to tell the story without mentioning Super Bowl III. Super Bowl III was a legendary game, as the two teams that faced off had very different backstories. The representative from the NFL was the Baltimore Colts, led by Hall of Fame coach Don Chula and league MVP Earl Morrow. The New York Jets were the representative from the American Football League, an upstart club led by eccentric fourth-year quarterback Joe Namath. The Jets advanced to the Super Bowl by beating the Oakland Raiders in a battle at Chase Stadium that ended up with a final score of Jets 27, Raiders 23. The Colts' road to the Super Bowl was much more convincing as they had a 13-1 regular season record and beat the Cleveland Browns 34-0 in the NFL Championship. The week leading up to the big game in Miami, Joe Namath, never a stranger to controversy, made the biggest headline of all when he guaranteed that the Jets would win on Sunday. Namath stirred pregame interest with one simple statement. I was at the Miami Touchdown Club and the man in the back of the room said, hey Namath, we're going to kick your... I said, well wait a minute, we're going to win the game, I guarantee it. His confidence quickly spread as assistant coach Walt Michaels loved what Namath had to say. I just kind of want to imitate what he said, I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. And you know, Joe, uh, if you know Joe and the way he goes on, if you get him riled up, he may say anything. And uh, as a really says, and from what I understand at the press conference, and I wasn't at it, but uh I heard the way it happened, you know, a bunch of the media got after Joe because they they were honest, too, as a matter of fact. They didn't think we were for real, and nobody in New York thought we were any, we were better than the Giants or we were better than anybody as far as that's concerned, other than doing it. Why, when the media got uh, got after Joe a little bit, he says, oh, for crying out loud, we got good players, we got this. He got upset. He said, as a matter of fact, I don't only really know we're going to win. I guarantee you we're going to win. Although fans turned in to watch the, the quarterbacks of both teams, the first half was far from high scoring. Matt Stell scored the first touchdown of the game with a four-yard run as the Jets took a 7-0 lead into halftime. The Jets' defense dominated the third quarter, forcing Morrill to throw his third interception of the game, making Don Shula send in the legendary quarterback Johnny Unitas, who had been plagued all season with a sore throwing arm. Although Namath wasn't explosive, he was incredibly efficient, leaving the Jets on their fourth scoring drive of the game that was capped off by a nine-yard field goal from field goal kicker Jim Turner. The Jets, who were 18-point underdogs, were now up 16-0 with 13 minutes left to go in the game. Unitas led the Colts down the field, finally scoring their first touchdown of the game with three minutes and 19 seconds to go. The Colts were down 7-16 with time slipping away. The Colts followed their score with recovering an onside kick, but it was too little too late as the clock struck zero and the Jets were named Super Bowl champions with a 16-7 victory that shocked the football world. Despite not having a single passing touchdown of his own, Namath was named MVP for his efficient play and his uncanny leadership. It is said today that Super Bowl III was the driving force behind the merging of the AFL and the NFL. Until the Jets' victory, the AFL was seen as an inferior league that couldn't even come close to the competitive level the NFL was at. Although he was deemed delusional for it, Joe Namath's guarantee is what fueled the Jets' confidence that they needed to take on the mighty Colts. Who knows, if the Jets don't win Super Bowl III, the NFL may be nothing like it is today. Two champions on a Sunday afternoon. A new one as a quarterback. An old one as a man.